Hi Leo, this is your reading for the 12th to the 18th of October and it's getting really dark here. Um, I'm sorry for the colouring, so, uh, but I wanted to get your reading out and the rest will just have to wait until tomorrow. But thank you very much for popping in and thank you for your shares and likes and if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube. Give YouTube your permission you and also in your mobile device. If you don't know how to do this then there is a little video under the playlist news and updates on that will show you how to do it. <coughs> Okay, um, and you, you've you usually got very good and wonderful readings, Leo. And we are in Libra time, and most of all, all of all, most of the, uh, all the videos really are really positive. There's loads of new um, energy, and remember we've got the two moons, so you might be sensitive, extra sensitive um, this month. Uh, on the blue moon, that's the 31st uh, uh, on the 31st of October um, sorry I was just figuring it out how many days there were in October but there's 31 days in October and on Halloween there is the blue moon and that is a Saturday so something wonderful is going to happen something you know the saying once in a blue moon so something wonderful is going to happen this month i'm sure of it for all of us okay um and i hope you are enjoying the series of the uk witch this is not only about witches pagans or wiccans but it's how to maintain yourself put yourself in the strength position look after yourself and the environment it's about candle making it's about relaxation meditation we are going to have the gemologist coming in people that uh, uh, know lots about gemstones semi-precious stones and what the energy uh, they are and how to use them we are talking about colors and colors of the candles and what which color what uh, represents and etc etc i hope you enjoyed the extra video i made ah oh, for halloween um the pumpkin soup and the halloween light i hope you will enjoy the halloween we are in retrograde so remember mercury retrograde Pluto has left us, so th that is in, in, uh, definitely positive and will be in retrograde, Mercury retrograde, until the 4th of November. Okay, your first card is the Three of Wands. Your plans are coming to fruition. Look, it just looks like a corn cob split in the middle and it is flowering, so you can harvest. Abundance is here for you. To confirm this or analyze this, uh, you have the King of Wands. Sorry, the Knight of Wands. So news is coming to you. The Knight of Wands also means you might be moving home. There's lots of fiery energy. You're full of action this week. Definitely on Monday, you might you, when you get this news, act upon it swiftly. Don't let it pass you by. Okay, this could mean this could be an other investment or a job promotion, uh, something uh, that will bring in the abundance. It could also be passion, with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, Leo. So you could be meeting somebody of your own sign. You could be moving in if you are already hooked up and going out with somebody. You might take this um, uh, this relationship up a step and moving in or getting engaged or getting married. Abundance is here. On Wednesday, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you might be finding out you're pregnant if you are uh, or that your partner is pregnant if you're a man. Um, you might um, meet a Libra because the Empress, uh, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, sorry. 
the king is Taurus and the queen is Virgo. So you might not only find out you're pregnant, but you could hear of a birth. This could be of a project or um, of a baby. Okay, if you're too mature, then you might be hearing of a birth and finding out you're becoming a granddad or a grandmother. She has green fingers and she plants seeds and she nurtures these seeds until they come to fruition and bloom and then she can harvest. So, like I said, abundance is coming in, so you're harvesting something. Okay, besides meeting a Virgo, but don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn. Then you have the Prince of Wands, and the Prince of Wands is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands, of course, is Sagittarius. So you could also be meeting a Sagittarius, but this could be somebody younger than you, bringing you news. The news can be about uh, a job, it can be about a hobby, it could be about a project, uh, because the ones stand for action, which is work also, um, creativity, hobby, an interest. Uh, this could be a passion turning into uh, a fully fledged romance, because you've got the Queen of Pentacles, and the Pentacles stand for um, durability, tangibility, tangible and for long term so know your boundaries know your partner's boundaries whether it is an Aries Leo or a Sag okay keep those boundaries in balance don't get burnt out by all the passion you might have a very active um, love life at the moment or starting <laughs> this week on Friday you have the Five of Wands. You might have competition or disagreements or arguments. Um, usually readers say that the Five of Wands is the disagreements and argument card, but I think it's also competition because if you look at the traditional tarot, it is young men joisting with sticks, learning how to become a knight and defend themselves. Okay, there could be uh, competition disagreements but there is definitely a, a unexpected change and this doesn't look like a tower to me this looks more like a volcano bursting so be careful of arguments stay away from arguments okay so something was not built on proper foundations so that and you couldn't make a decision perhaps so the divine and the angels stepped in and gave you this unexpected change. Now, when one door closes, 20 doors will open. Learn from the past. Don't look back. You can't change the past. You can only change the present and the future. Take it as an adventure because your plans are coming to fruition. Okay, it might cost you something. It might cost you friends because friends might not approve or might be jealous of you succeeding and having all this luck but you sowed the seeds and if you sow, know what you have sown you shall get it you shall reap it and this is the confirmation the seven of pentacles what you sow you shall reap so stay away from arguments and disagreements because otherwise you will get it back threefold arguments and disagreement and you've got number 11 the angels are showing you that they are holding your back or protecting you you've got the justice card you will be back in balance like I said big time this is justice justice means if you are in a traditional situation and you were having arguments there's going to be a sudden change and it will be for the better because you've done the work, you've planted the seeds, so the truth will come out. You will get what you deserve and so will the other. Now you could be meeting a Libra. And I said Libra when it was uh, at the Queen of Pentacles, when um, because the Empress always reminds me of the Queen of Pentacles. They're both Mother Earth. 
they re represent Mother Earth. Now the Empress is a Libra, but the Queen of Pentacles is a Virgo. So Virgo time might have been very important, or you might have met a Virgo. You might have a disagreement with the Virgo, or a Libra. But justice will be done. There is a new beginning, because the angels are giving you a doorway. The Eleven is the doorway, okay, to a new beginning. Okay, your plans are coming into fruition. Okay, you're going to get news and you have to act upon that swiftly. You might be moving home as well. You could be meeting a fire sign. You definitely will be getting news, either from somebody your same age or mature, or somebody younger, because we've got the knight and the page here. You are climbing up the ladder. You're no longer the page. You're becoming a knight. Okay. And then you're going up to the status of the queen, a caring, nurturing person. Okay, could be um, a Virgo. Then we have the Five of Wands. Be careful of competition and arguments. Uh, rise above it, walk away from other people's drama. Something unexpected is going to happen, but I think it's going to be good, because one and six is seven, so seven is also a lucky number. This is good, because the justice card is also lying next to it and you've got a seven here so you've got two number sevens uh, lucky number angel number double number now the card for tender loving care for the soul is a purpose for all things life is a mysterious progression of individual evolution it can be hard to understand and even more so to accept why events manifest the way they do. You may be wondering sometimes, desperately, exactly what purpose each experience serves. Yet the answer still eludes you. Take comfort in the assurance of knowing that everything you've lived through carries a personal promise of resolution. You will, in accordance with the div divine time, reunite with your loved ones and find the healing and happiness that you seek. The divine ways are exacting exacting and beautifully just. Today do your part, part by replacing cynicism and bitterness with optimism and trust, for you are indeed deeply loved and your life is carefully thought out to suit your soul alone. There you are, the divine is stepping in and number 11, justice. And look at the rainbow. Heaven and earth is connected. Your last card, the angel card, is inspiration. Sensitivity. Your sensitivity is your power. Boom. And I get to hear be enchanting and charming. Great advice. And you're on the right path. The divine has your back and also your ancestors. I love this reading. So don't worry. Stay away from drama and arguments and other people's drama. Carry on. Take the uh, unexpected change as an adventure. I hope you've liked this reading. Take care, God bless, and stay safe. Please like and share. Till next week.